Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So now we will move into our next center of triangle and that is the in center. So previously we have discussed the orthocenter and its properties, the orthocenter H and its orthic triangle and other properties. And now we'll move into something called the in center X center lemma. So first of all, we need to know what is the X center. We have discussed previously the in center. We said that the in center I is simply, as you can see here in the diagram, the in center I is simply the meeting point of the three internal angle bisectors of the triangle ABC. So that means AI bisects the angle A and BI bisects the angle B and CI bisects the angle uh, C of the triangle. So what is exactly the X center? Well, it turns out that we have external angle bisectors as well as internal angle bisectors. So, for example, here in this diagram, we know that CI is the internal angle bisector of the angle C. But what about the angle? Uh, what about the other angle? So, for example, here, CIA this actually is called the external angle bisectors. And uh, in fact, there is a beautiful uh, relation here that IC is perpendicular, or in other words, the internal angle bisector of one angle, for, so here the angle C, is perpendicular to the extern, uh, external angle bisector of the same angle. So here we have, this is uh, pi over 2. So those are pen perpendicular. So basically this is uh, the external angle bisector. And from here, from this point, we can actually define the, the uh, external uh, or the X center actually. So basically we have three X centers. We have the A X center and the B X center and the C X center. And the X center is usually denoted by I A. So the A X center is denoted by I A, the B X center is denoted by I B, and the C X center is denoted by I C. So the definition or the properties that the X the X center satisfies uh, are the following. So as you can see, A I A bisects the angle A. Okay, so here we have the internal angle bisector of A. But CIA and BIA are the external angle bisectors of the angle B uh, or the angle C and angle B. So we have one internal angle bisector, that is A, and we have two external angle bisectors, those are C and B. Okay, so from this definition we can actually deal with the X centers as well as the in centers. Okay, so let's take a look actually at our diagram here. So as you can see in the diagram we have the triangle ABC, we have the in center I, and we have the X center or the A X center IA. And we have actually drawn here the point M. And this point M actually is uh, is actually the, the midpoint of the arc BC. So actually in this video we'll prove that this point, that is M, the midpoint of this arc BC with the circumcircle, is in fact uh, is, is in fact the center of this circle that you can see right here. Okay, so let's actually jump uh, into the theory in our lesson. So basically the first thing we will discuss is that in fact the quadrilateral B I C I A as you can see in the figure this is cyclic so the quadrilateral uh, B I C I A is cyclic this is the first thing and in fact we know the diameter of the of this circle. In fact, it is just I, I, A. 
so the diameter is IIA so with diameter I IA okay great so actually let's first of all uh, prove this and it turns out that this is not difficult at all in fact it's really easy we can just use the definition or the simple property we have discussed uh, in the beginning of the video uh, in order for us to prove that BICIA uh, lies on the circle with diameter IIA it is in fact uh, enough to show that this angle IB and this one IB IA is 90 degrees or pi over 2 and in the same way then we can show the same for the angle C and we will be done immediately so in fact we have already said that BI is the internal angle bisector so in fact this angle is B over 2 and this one right here BIA is the external angle bisector so this is in fact pi over 2 minus B over 2 so in fact this is already pi over 2 so this is 90 degrees and we know that IB the internal angle bisector is perpendicular to the external angle bisector so basically we are done because that means that B lies on the circle with diameter IIA and in the same way we can show that C lies on this circle as well so basically you are done so great now you should keep in mind that we have this nice result uh, whenever you have the X center the AX center you should keep in mind that you have the following cyclic quadrilateral I B I A C and we, you have these two uh, perpendicular lines I B and B I A and I C and C I A okay great so is that the only thing no uh, because we have introduced the point M right so in fact this point M which we have defined as the mid point of this arc BC this is in fact the center of the circle so this point M is the center of the circle but how can we show that well let's actually do this so let's first of all raise this okay so how can we show that M is the center of this circle well it is enough to show that M is the center of the circle B I C right so if we can show that M B is equal to M I is equal to M C then we are done okay but how can we show that well first of all because A I is the internal angle bisector of A and because A M will bisect the arc B C of the circle that means that A I and M uh, are collinear right because after all we have this arc is the, is the same as this arc so it must uh, AM must be the angle bisector of A okay so great so in fact uh, here our diagram is correct because A, I and M are collinear we have proven this and in fact it is known that CM is equal to CB or sorry MB because of the same thing because we know uh, in this circle the arc MB is the same as the arc MC so that means the lines as well are the same okay great so now we know that MB is equal to MC so now what we need just to show is that this is equal to MI and we will be done so let's actually show that MB is equal to MI let's just show this okay so let's actually draw this we have already MI drawn so we just need to draw MB and we need to show that this is isosceles triangle MIB so we need to show that this is equal to this right so it is enough to show that this angle is the same as this angle so we just need to show that the angle MBI is equal to the angle 
m i b. Okay, but in fact, we can evaluate the angle, the measure of the angle m b i, because take a look at this angle. We cannot evaluate it directly, but we can partition this into two angles that we indeed can calculate. So in fact, m b i, the angle m b i, is equal to this measure of the angle is uh, the same as the angle this one right here plus this one so uh, mbi is just ibc plus the angle cbm cbm and we know the angles we know these two angles because ibc is just the half of the angle B and CBM is just the half of the angle A because remember uh, CBM uh, uh, is, is adjacent to this arc CCM and which is the same as this one right here because this is a cyc uh, cyclic quadrilateral right okay so this is basically A over 2 and in fact, we can simplify this because it's a plus b over 2. We can write it as pi minus c over 2, which is just pi over 2 minus c over 2. Okay, great. So now we have uh, evaluated the angle mbi. So let's now erase the work here, the proof, and just try the value of the angle, the measure of the angle. So MBI is just pi over 2 minus, mm, minus uh, C over 2, yes. Okay, so now we just left to find the angle MIB to show that it's the same. So how can we evaluate the angle MIB? First of all, let's erase these. Okay, so in fact, it's easier to find this angle. Remember the angle AIB, this angle right here? We are familiar with this one because in one of the previous video we have discussed the end center and its angles. And we said that this angle is immediately pi over 2 plus c over 2, right? If you don't remember, just go on to that video. So since AIB is pi over 2 plus c over 2, well, that means that the angle BIM is uh, pi minus this angle. So it's in fact just pi over 2 minus C over 2. Because just sum these two and you will get pi. So in fact, we have already shown that the angle uh, MIB is just pi over 2 minus c over 2 and just compare these two boxes you can see that they are just the same so that means that m i b is an isosceles triangle which means that m i is equal to m b and in the same way we can show that m i is equal to uh, m c because now we have this relation and of course uh, this is uh, true for m i a as well and basically, we are done. We have shown everything we want to do here. Uh, okay. So basically, uh, let's just revise or review what we have learned in this lesson. So basically, we have uh, four points here, B, I, C, and I, A, the A X center. We know that they lie on one circle, and the diameter of this circle is I, I, A. And furthermore, the center of the circle is just the point M, that is the midpoint of the arc BC of the circumcircle. And basically, this is all what I wanted to cover in this uh, lesson. And maybe in the next lessons, we'll, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if we'll continue with the end center or maybe just move to another center of the triangle. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. And see you guys in the next video.